Hey all, Pay Marine back again with another unboxing video. Uh, and today we're going to be doing the Horus Heresy character of Vulcan. Now, um, you may have seen the other video I did with uh, Gabriel Angelos. I had that model for a while, and this one I've actually had for two and a half, maybe three years. <laughs> um, and I got it when I started uh, kind of rebuilding, repainting my salamanders to have more of a darker heresy color to them and then also uh, building them so they, they could easily be played in both 30 and 40k. And I had gotten Vulcan in this huge order that I had done at the time and uh, I just never, I want to say I never got around to him. He's always been sitting there just kind of like build me, paint me, let's do this. Um, but I just kept pushing it off because it's it's a, uh, what's the word, an intimidating model, maybe? Uh, or not really intimidating, there's not any different from any other model, really, other than it's a character and it's Vulcan. It's the Primarch of one of my favorite, uh, well, my favorite first founding, we'll say. Because um, I definitely, it's a pretty good tie with Cacarodons and Salamanders for me. Um, and both really being one end of the spectrum to the next, where we have Cacarodons that are pretty brutal and then the salamanders who definitely go out of their way to try to help um, civilian populations and, sh and such like that. Anyway, um, yeah, so it was kind of always more of a daunting project because I always wanted, I wanted to make sure that I do this model justice when I get to painting it. Um, and really, it's just, I've been putting it off too long. I've got things piling up and I need to get to it. Um, hopefully this means I'll get to painting it soon uh, since it'll be assembled and waiting for paint. Um, but yeah, so definitely uh, looking forward to jumping into that. So let me get things set up and let's take a look inside this box. All right, here we are. The big box of heresy. <laughs> here we go. Vulcan. Pretty awesome. Uh, as I make this video, uh, the Alpharius model, it just went up for pre-order for Alpha Legion, which is another um, Horus Heresy type project that I have um, always wanted to get off the off the ground. Uh, with that, like when I went to Adepticon, uh, when was that, 2016, I actually bought um, at the event there, uh, at the time they had the Headhunters, uh, the Alpha Legion, Contemptor, Dreadnought. And then uh, they had the, uh, it was a special event uh, Alpha Legion character that they had, as well as the other um, Alpha Legion character that they had that um, was done um, similar to the Primarchs. I can't remember his name, but I have all those. And then now they've released the uh, Alpha Legion Terminators and the Alpha Legion um, Primarch Alpharius, or who we think is Alpharius, you know. Um, so I'm hoping to get those soon, and I'm th I may wait um, and pick them up at Nova this year when I'm up there. So hopefully uh, I can get up there and they have those all in stock um, and ready to go. So um, back of the card, you get a little back view of the model and how it all fits together. Uh, one thing I did as well um, for these fallen marines here, I've seen them painted as like salamanders, like fellow fallen salamanders, and. Um, I mean, that never really sat right with me because I kind of like the idea of like the fallen marines around him being ones that he defeated. So I'm actually planning on um, painting these up as night lords since they're the ones that essentially kind of uh, kind of betrayed him right off the bat during the drop site massacre and captured Vulcan. Um, but yeah, so this would be a fallen night lord. I actually ordered again a while back when I had first ordered this model the uh, Night Lord uh, shoulder pad so I could swap this out uh, for a Night Lord um, shoulder pad instead of have to try to paint their their sigil there um, so we'll get a look at the parts here and we'll see just how easy it will be for me to swap out that shoulder pad alright okay so we got two cases here let's take a look at this smaller one here first and then, uh, if I can get it open, there we go. Alright, so we have Vulcan's cloak, and, wow, that is so awesome. The, uh, 
Drake head uh, backpack is pretty sweet. Sweet, awesome. Cool. All right. So we have another one yet. Okay. So we have his hand, thunder hammer, another piece of the cloak. Uh, some little bits of uh, some kind of a awesome looking flamer revolver pistol thing. I can't remember. There's I think there was a uh, a flamer weapon that he was given, um, but I can't remember who. And his head again, another close up of the hammer and everything. And then we have. arm with the awesome Drake symbol on it awesome oh man I'm loving this model I can't believe it's taking me so long to get to it all right so here's that fallen marine so uh, fortunately the shoulder pad is not separate however uh, I think it won't be too hard to uh, I guess separate this from the model itself and, and take that off so yeah, looking forward to that. I was also just thinking, like, they have those uh, Games Workshop uh, Fallen Marine models uh, that you can use for just aesthetic or whatever. I've used them for objective markers. This alone would be kind of a cool, like, uh, objective marker or just uh, something to place on the battlefield for aesthetics and stuff, like a collapsed building fell on him or something like that. So, pretty cool. And what else we got? And then... Looks like more of the rock and rubble to add to the base. Alright, so that is it for that one. And then next up, what I assume is going to be the main event since I haven't seen him yet. Alright, so looks like those are where his feet will go on this smaller base that you can release or uh, separate from this main uh, kind of display base. So again, here we have another <laughs> um, fallen trapped under rubble marine here again I think would make a great piece for like an objective marker of some kind that's very cool alright and another kind of piece to lock in the base I think I, there we go it sits like that um Okay, and then the main body of Vulcan himself. So, very cool. Very excited to finally get this guy up and running. So, so cool. All right, well, I'm going to go throw this into a warm, soapy bath, and then I will come back and we'll probably do a quick, uh, quick assembly video. Well, I don't know about quick, but an assembly video of some kind to go along with this. All right, well, thanks for watching now, and I'll see you in just a few seconds on the video. It'll probably be uh, maybe a day or so before I get back. All right, well, thank you for watching. I should have seen this model. Um, hopefully you can see all the detail nicely here. So the head is uh, kind of temporarily on there. Um, I'm going to take that out and paint it separately and then also so I can kind of get in behind the head without accidentally um, hitting the head at all um, as you can see here like I said for this one injured dead I say dead marine rather um, switch out the shoulder pad from just the generic nothing um, to a, a night lords one because uh, I figure I'm going to have these two marines here as a Night Lords that Vulcan defeated. Um, and one thing I noticed on mine is this foot here is like broken off. I'm not sure. Um, I'd have to look to see if it's, I doubt it's supposed to be like that. I'm not really sure. And then there's like, but there's nothing like really to be underneath of it, which is kind of weird. There's no rock or anything like, so it's kind of like a weird way to have the foot just kind of like hanging out there like that. But anyway. Um, yeah, it's a very uh, interesting model put together, and I actually finished uh, the assembly and then realized that uh, 
here I've left off his like pistol like revolver thingy um, so and that's actually supposed to go kind of um, kind of like yeah back in this area back behind this little hip armor um, yeah so I'll see if I can fit it in there worst case scenario I, I, I can't <laughs> Um, which I don't think will be that big of a deal. Um, yeah, like I said, really pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy to go. The, the model itself didn't have a ton of flash. There was a, a little bit of a, a line cleanup I kind of had to do here on this arm. Um, you probably can't really tell anymore, which is good. And then also, um, really a lot of this here and then this, uh, large Drake skull. Um, really kind of covered up most of that arm anyway. Um, so ended up not being a huge deal. Um, and then as far as how this model comes apart, you have this piece pops off. They actually have what appears to be kind of like a hole here. So if you want to uh, at least magnetize one side, because um, then they also have that hole down there as well. But anyway, and then... He just slides right out. And there you have it. So you can see here how it kind of encases the uh, the base a bit. Um, when it comes, as I, I think you saw in the video, but in case you don't like this piece, it has to be glued on, like this little standing up piece here. Um, this kind of strip of rubble as well as this marine here was also loose. Um, and then Vulcan's base itself, just kind of him kind of stepping over some rubble and stairs or whatever this kind of building door frame is that he um, is walking through. And then as you slide it back in, you just got to kind of line up the, there we go, just line up where the, um, kind of where these stairs meet so you know that it's facing the right direction and it slides right back in all right so that is it for this let me see if i can put this back on one hand <laughs> um yes yeah, so like i said it's pretty it's a pretty straightforward model to uh to assemble and not a ton of cleanup there um and I'm, I'm not sure if it's because these are like the character series or um the fact that it's a Primark and so people expect definitely a high quality to their product. Um, so thankfully there wasn't a ton of, uh, well, I didn't, I would say there really wasn't any mistakes or errors in the model or the mold, um, which is nice um, to not have to deal with, like with some of the other Forge World um, items that come out. Uh, so definitely... Uh, worth every penny i love it can't wait to get it painted finally um and then i'm also looking forward to um picking up the new alpha legion primark alfarius that model looks amazing um probably gonna wait actually till i go up to nova and hopefully uh, they have one in stock while i'm up there i'll probably pick him up and the new uh, alpha legion terminators while i'm there so all right, well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, definitely leave them. And if you are enjoying these videos, definitely like, subscribe, all that, and check out the Facebook page and everything like that. And until next time.